Hello, you're welcome. How to solve this nice square problem? Solution from what we have here. We can rewrite this as square root of root 4 times 3 here, then divided by 9 plus root 36 times 3 from here. Then from when we have root a times b, which can be written as root a times root b, here we can separate this and this like that, and we have square root of root 4 times root 3, then divided by, here we have 9 plus root 36 times root 3 and next step here root 4 that's 2 then this becomes square root of 2 root 3 divided by 9 plus root 36 that's 6 that's 6 root 3 there then what we have here we can rationalize this sort inside that is, we multiply by the conjugate sort and also divide by that. That is, here, this becomes square root of 2 root 3 over here. We can rewrite it as 6 root 3 plus 9. And here, when we multiply this by the conjugate, which is now 6 root 3 minus 9 into bracket. Also multiply this by 6 root 3 minus 9, then close brackets here. And from here, 2 root 3, we open this bracket. And we have square root of here, 2 times 6, that's 12. Then root 3 times root 3, that's 3. So we have 12 times 3 here, then minus here. 2 times 9, we have 18, then times root 3. Then divided by what we have here follows from when we have a plus b into bracket, open bracket, a minus b, which is same thing as a square minus b square. That is here, we can write this as 6 root 3 all squared minus 9 squared and simplifying further this becomes square root of here we can factor what is common here <clears throat> and from what we have here 3 is common hope so we have 3 into bracket 12 left here then minus 6 root 3 left here then divided by from what we have here this square we affect 6 and we affect root 3 and 6 square here that's 36 root 3 square that's times 3 there then minus here next square we have 9 times 9 which is 81 which also implies here we can factor 3 out here then we have square root of 3 into 12 minus 6 root 3 here, yeah? close bracket, then divide by 3 into bracket. Here we have 36 minus 27 here, yeah? close bracket. That is from here, 3 cancel each other from here, and we are left with square root of 12 minus 6 root 3 divided by 36 minus 27 and which also same thing as square root of 12 minus 6 root 3 divided by 36 minus 27 we have 9 from there and we can also rewrite this as square root of 
1 over 9 multiplied by 12 minus 6 root 3 from here. That is, from when we have root A times B, which can be written as root A times root B, we can separate this since 1 over 9 is multiplying this bracket. Then what we have will now be root 1 over 9 times root 12 minus 6 root 3. And here, root 1 over 9, we can separate it as root 1 over root 9, then multiply by square root of. Here, we can rewrite this 12 as 9 plus 3, then minus 6 can be written as 2 times 3, then we have times root 3 from there. That is root 1 here is 1 and root 9 here we have 3 then times square root of here we can write 9 here as 3 squared 3 times 3 then plus 3 can be written as root 3 square when square cancel square root we still have 3 then minus 2 times 3 times root 3 now from here, what we have inside the square root follows from we have a square plus b square minus 2ab, which can be written as a minus b or squared. That is from here, a is same thing as 3 and b is same thing as root 3. Then, this equation now become 1 over 3 multiplied by square root of into bracket 3 minus root 3 or square. That is, from here, the square here cancel the square root. And we are left with 1 over 3 multiplied by 3 minus root 3. And here 1 over 3 open this bracket so we have 1 over 3 times 3 minus 1 over 3 times root 3 which implies that 3 cancel each other here we have 1 minus here root 3 over 3 so here we have the final answer to this problem as 1 minus root 3 over 3 so what is given here is simply same thing as 1 minus root 3 over 3. Thank you for watching. Don't forget this step. Subscribe for more videos and turn the description bell on. Share this video, give it a thumbs up, and put your comments in the comment section. See you next class and bye for now.